What, what do you think is the number one concern for people who are looking at uh, digitalizing their heavy industrial applications? I just saw a report which said that the number one concern of enterprises is security. I don't think that's true. Do you think that's true? The problem with a lot of the industrial applications is they were built for the generation that the devices do not need to be connected to one another. And so they build on the air gap network. And now because of the new digitalization, they become, uh, they need to be connected. And when you want to connect your machines or your critical devices to the internet, and now security becomes the, the major concern that need to be addressed. How do you identify the traffic? How do you secure them? How do you protect them from the bad guys be able to get in? It's going to be a very important component of the solution to enable the digitalization. That totally makes sense. But is that really the number one concern? It's, it sort of ticks me off when I read things which say, well, security is the number one concern. Well, no, probably the end of the world is the number one concern for people. You know, I mean, what are we doing here? We're trying to make money. And that is why Industry 4.0 is so important. So I think that this is a question of survival for these companies. Uh, and yes, of course, they have to be secure, but that's not their number one concern. Uh, do you agree with me? Yeah, I, I, I would agree. But I think uh, everyone wants to do digital, digitalization because they want to see the benefit of what the digital technologies bring to them. But then on the flip side is, I mean, if you uh, run into any breach or an outages uh, because of you don't properly provide or, or secure your new components, now it's going to put back all your digital initiatives because you can be answering to the shareholder and the customer why that breach happened. And so I think the flip side of bringing in technology is to make sure that you have a way to secure and operate it at scale. That's amazing. But where does it leave the data center? Or are these two things going to sort of exist synergistically in the future? Yeah. So, I, I'm, I mean, as, as we push more intelligence and application to closer to the data source, um, I mean, things are actually becoming a lot more connected than... Um, what people realize, right? Because in the end, uh, you want to have an application that process the data coming from the camera, uh, maybe an AI application. So it has to still send information back into the data center. Or as you constantly deploy and, and improve your model, you have a need to actually train that model in the data center and then push it back out to the edge where the data source is. And this constant cycle always been happening and it all rely on the network being there, right? To basically allow you to number one, manage these highly distributed applications and number two, be able to update the model, get information back and constantly improve it. I appreciate you talking to us today. Thank you.